直接搞这个就行。请支付。哎，真的吗？哇！支付成功。谢谢。直接搞这个就行。请支付。哎，真的吗？哇！支付成。Shalom, ya Shirala, shalom. All praises to you. How about Shmi Al Shai? This is gonna be a real quick video in regards to the road is being prepared for the MOTB. And the reason why I made this video, if any of y'all brothers have any sort of like regular news feed, a regular channel where you essentially can keep up with many of the scriptures of the Bible in regards to the prophecies that's being set up. To be honest with you, if you're a man, if you're a woman, you need to constantly be looking at these things every single day. The way that y'all check your bank account to make sure that your bank account isn't overdrawn, y'all really should be looking at whether or not the dollar's collapsing whether or not the MOTB is on the scene, what's going on with, you know, different political events, because the scriptures say to be constantly watchful, to be vigilant. You know, first Peter five and eight, it says, let us be watchful, let us be vigilant for our adversary, the devil cometh about as a roaring lion. The wicked are always moving. The wicked are always preparing their next chess move. But ultimately, we understand, according to the Most High's mercy, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to show those who are true believers, true walkers of the faith, what's going on because he's going to obviously watch over his righteous and the reason why i'm saying this is because not only do y'all see what's going on in china if y'all understand the new world order narrative china is one of the main examples one of the main staples for how the elites want the world to come so whatever is happening in china social credit score uh, a communistic um capitalistic society uh, many artificial things. I'm sure y'all brothers, if you're not familiar, you've seen how they're starting to put regulations on what type of crops you can plant. It's a sign that we're moving into the next phase, which is essentially when the uh, beast, it starts to um, come upon the people with great wrath. Now, the reason why I'm not bringing up these scriptures is because brothers should already know and understand these things. If you've been on my channel, if you've been on other brothers' channels, it's very straightforward. You know, I got a dozen videos. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I know a brother, he hit me up on the other video and he was basically saying how Elon Musk's brain chip has been accepted and that, you know, I should do a video on the MOTV because they MOTB because they're going to be pushing it soon. So I want to actually get the scripture in the book of Ezekiel chapter 12. This is Ezekiel 12 and 26. It says, again, the word of the most high Yahweh came to me saying, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh. And the reason why brothers oftentimes talk about the timeline of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, because ultimately no brother can really pinpoint really all you really need to be doing is just warning the most high sheep of what's to come and properly preparing them and giving them the right spirit and the right understanding to be able to deal with it so the reason why i brought this up is because we're in the most high's movie we're in his timeline and if you have real faith and you really believe in the prophecies of the scriptures whether or not the things happen yesterday and they're coming tomorrow or they come five years from now you prepare for anything you always ready you always prepared because essentially the most high's prophecy is going to come and be fulfilled. And if you a brother in the world and you focus on things of the world that you just stop worrying. You, and if you in your mind think like, oh, you know, things ain't really been heating up. Let me just chill. You in a bad mindset. But also at the same time, you can't be a brother who literally is trying to predict when things is going to happen. Because the most high is going to set it up to the point where you looking foolish. It, I've seen it happen to many brothers. I've only been in the faith hard body for about two and a half years but i've known about the understanding for about three three and a half years so that's the balance that you have to have so it's good that brothers are speaking on these things and your brothers should stay vigilant but also understand that there is a balance you never know when it's going to happen but you know that it can happen the next day so i want to actually get into this the article that the brother you know um he told me to go over and no by no means is this a shot at the brother i'm just you know i wanted to use this for edification but i want to get into the article in regards to what is going on with elon musk and the role that he has to play all right so this is the title of the article off of the guardian so again you know you obviously have a very hold up salaki so as you brothers can see 
you obviously see that this is an updated article june 4th 2023 and one of the um the high-ranking elites puppet map pup, uh, people that they're puppeting is elon musk elon musk is seen as a figure who is political opposition he's kind of conservative but he's kind of all over the place and people think that he's like an independent mind independent of the thought of what the international bakers want because if you've been watching you're starting to notice a lot more people are starting to see the bullshit in those people who are liberals when it comes to a lot of these luciferian ideologies whether it be transgenderism you see what's going on with target what's happening with bud light a lot of these companies were trying to push a lot of this heavy satanic energy because they're essentially feeling out if the people are ready to move into the next step which is going to be them adding pederasty and trying to essentially um inundate your children with a lot of these false doctrines because once they feel like people are fully acceptable of Satan, that's when they're going to move in for the guns. That's when they're going to move in to pretty much do what China is doing. So we understand that China is the um, base center, right, for the entire world society that's being set up. But you do have people like Elon Musk who are kind of conservative, but at the same time, they're still following after the Luciferian agenda. And as y'all brothers have been keeping up with a lot of my videos, I've been reiterating how, in my opinion, artificial intelligence is going to be the avenue for a lot of these false miracles to be set up with the antichrist system because again yahweh shot when he walked the earth he healed the sick he um gave sight to the blind he gave a uh, hearing to those who were who were um I, f I forgot the specific word in the scripture i think it was either maimed but obviously in modern um modern translation we call them death so i want y'all to really look at this article and kind of see the the story in between the story right so elon musk brain implant company Neuralink last week received regulatory approval to conduct the first clinical trial of its experimental device in humans so again when we look at the v card the c19 narrative that was being built up the first thing that they had was you know fda approval so now you're seeing that government is giving approval for a mainstream company by a mainstream character that everybody knows that they're going to start testing this chip on humans right so again it's becoming more and more mainstream lightly but sl and slowly but surely more and more each and every passing day Continuing on, it says the billionaire's executive bombastic promotion of the technology, his leadership record at other companies and animal welfare concerns relating to Neuralink experiments have raised an alarm. So basically, they're trying to, you know, allow you to have some sort of concern so that way they can kind of take you off guard. It's one of the 48 laws of power where they try to essentially force something on you, but they try to reel you back by making it seem like it's bad. So that way your, your antennas aren't raised if they were to just sit here and say, yeah, just take it, accept it, it's good. That's one of the devices of Satan, right? Now continuing on, it says, I was surprised, said Laura Cabrera, a neural ethic at Penn State's Rock Ethic Institute about the decision by the US Food and Drug Administration to let the company go ahead with clinical trials. So that's their way of trying to, you know, um, how do I put this the right way? Trying to side with you as the reader, especially if you're someone who understands the scriptures, but you don't really understand what's going on. This is their way of trying to like not raise up any false alarms by agreeing with you that essentially it's kind of weird that they're doing something like this, right? So it continue on, it says, Musk's erratic leadership at Twitter and his move fast techie at those raised questions about Neuralink's ability to responsibly oversee the development of an invasive medical device capable of reading brain signal. Cabrera argued, is he going to see a brain implant device as something that requires not just extra regulation, but also ethical consideration, she said, or will he treat this like another gadget? So basically they're using Elon Musk, cause he's a tech guy, he's a dude with Tesla, he had the, the uh, rocket company, all this extra stuff, right? So they're basically using Elon Musk as like a technical innovative guy who is kind of all over the place. He's kind of associated with Trump, but he's not fully associated with Trump. So he's kind of like a wild card. He's like a political opposition wild card, but they're gonna use him because he's somebody that the masses, they look up to. Now let's continue. It says Neuralink is far from the first and only company working on brain interface devices. For decades, research teams around the world have been exploring the use of implants and devices to treat conditions such as paralysis and depression. Again, going back into that video, I think I did a month or two ago about the company where the owner, he wants to use the um, 
I think it was brain chip technology in order to heal the sick and allow those who are paralyzed to be able to walk again, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all gonna be linked up with artificial technology. Just the way that they're setting it up, you can kind of tell. So it says, already thousands use neural prosthetics like cochlear implants for hearing, but the broad scope of capabilities Musk is promising from the Neuralink device has garnered skepticism from experts. Neuralink entered the industry in 2016 and has designed a brain computer interface, BCI called the Link, an electrolytic computer chip that can be sewn into the surface of the brain and connects it to external electronics as well as robotic device that implants the chip. So again, when y'all look at all these articles, they're using biotechnology to try to integrate it with some sort of artificial interface. And that, in my opinion, is the reason why they've allowed, you know, AI technology and AI software to become more, um, you know, uh, commonly accepted with the masses. You got the artificial intelligence when it comes to the music. You got the artificial intelligence when it comes to creating pictures creating different scenarios so again artificial intelligence and i want to look up this 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 picture on ig so y'all can kind of see how they're going to set it up i think this is a great picture let me look it up real quick all right so this is basically the picture that i was talking about i seen this a few weeks ago and you obviously have the trojan horse of artificial intelligence essentially they're rolling it out to get everybody you know used to it kind of like the iphone you know kind of like a lot of the other stuff the qr code during the, the uh, height of the pandemic all these different things to get you used to the specific technology that is ultimately going to lead to the mark of the beast so out of the back comes artificial intelligence which is a quote-unquote robotic takeover but just in my opinion which most people t typically overlook is artificial is intelligence is going to be used in my if, when you look at it right you look at um wildlife you look at the droughts that's being set up you look at the food shortages that are being set up a lot of people feel like america western society is going to collapse unless somebody comes in to save society from darkness and one of the main things that a lot of people even a, a guy that i i look up, look at for like business advice he was saying how artificial intelligence could be used as that saving grace for humanity but they obviously understand the dual, the dualistic nature of artificial intelligence is no matter how powerful it is, it can often lead to humanity's death and destruction. So again, AI is going to be probably one of the most, if not the most important aspect of the things that the elites are going to look at towards the masses, including the chip, obviously, that's going to shape how our society is going to move because that's going to be something worldwide. It's not going to be nationwide in just America, just in China, just in Europe, just in Japan. It's going to be something that's going to be nationwide that they're, in my opinion, they're going to use to set up a global system, an interconnected system. So I wanted to get back into this and just kind of continue on to read. I'm going to read from this paragraph. It says, Musk has claimed Neuralink's develop, I mean, device could be used for a range of therapeutic uses to treat conditions like blindness, paralysis, paralysis and depression, which is, again, the false miracles, in my opinion. But he has also said that the eventual aim is to create a general population device that could connect a user's mind directly to supercomputers and help humans keep up with artificial intelligence. So this is going to be something that can allow humans to keep up with the vast exponential growth of artificial intelligence. And this is crazy because even a few years ago, you know, one of the things that when you just look at things, you could theorize that there's going to be a battle between, you know, the cyborgs, the uh, transhumanism and the old aspects, the body that the Most High created. Because again, as humans have grown, they feel the defects of the body of Adam, the curses of Adam, the ability to die, feeling all this pain, having to work for the labor. So again, humanity is trying to use its own version to reverse the curses that the Most High placed upon man and have their form of a quote unquote angelic body. That's what, let's actually go to the scripture in Revelation 12. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. So we understand that according to Revelation, there's gonna be a great battle in heaven between the most high celestial angels, the truly perfect form, the truly perfect beings. And there's gonna be between the dragon, which is the world system 
and his angels, his technology, his spaceships, his spacecrafts, more than likely his uh, super supernatural soldiers. Verse eight, it says, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole earth. He was cast out into earth and his angels were cast out with him. Now, again, when you go into the next uh, chapter, Revelation 13 and 16, verse 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast would not should both speak and cause that a many who would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell except he who had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So one particular instance that they can use this artificial technology in the beat in the uh, RFID chip is that they can say, hey, look, this is going to be what can allow human and, you know, human race, human civilization to be able to deal with all these things going on. And we need everybody to have this so that way they can be integrated to the new technology that's being set up. Because, again, when you look at this, this um, paragraph, he said, Elon Musk also said that the eventual aim to, is to create a general population device that could connect a user's mind directly into supercomputers and help humans keep up with artificial intelligence. Now read this verse. I mean, read this uh, sentence. He said he has also suggested that the device could eventually extract and uh, store thoughts as a backup drive for your non-physical being, your digital soul. So basically, he feels that eventually the device can be used to allow you to have a digital soul. So that way you don't even have to be in this flesh and blood android. You can be in human's form of a perfect body. Because you know, if you look at Get Out, if you look at a lot of these movies, the high ranking elites, the Edomites, uh, many of the Caucasian Jews, they want people to be able to have some form of immortality. Going back in the second Thessalonians, they try to sit in the seat of the most high, act as if they're the most high, and try to perform the miracles of the most high son, which is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So again, you know, things are gonna get more and more clear with each each and every passing day, week, month, year, you know what I mean? So the Lord is gonna eventually show those who are meant to be shown exactly how Satan is gonna set it up. And when I say Satan, I mean the dark forces who control the earth, which we understand to be the elites who run the world, right? So eventually their plan is gonna be shown uh straight and center and basically elon musk he's just you know a poster dude he's just the puppet he's just one of the puppets in their hand they're the puppet master and they're basically putting out different information and you pretty much got to look at all of this because you can look at it as the uh chip is going to be what's giving people these great miracles what allows them to be um you know um integrated into artificial intelligence but we also understand the chip is going to be a mark that's going to allow you to be spiritually initiated into the new world order the one world government the one world currency it's also going to be used for your one world currency going back to the video at the beginning in china the woman she they was getting her hand scanned you know what i mean biotechnology biometrics so brothers got to keep that in mind and stay vigilant so i read it it says the company's not there yet so far Neuralink has tested its chips on animals a video released in 2021 showing a monkey using the device to play the video game pong with his mind and another from 2022 appeared to show a monkey typing on a computer telepathically the fda approval cleared the first hurdle towards human clinical trial but the scope focus and design of any such study remains unclear fda applications and approval processes are not available to the public as a private company Neuralink is not required to disclose such regulatory um, interactions to investors. Neuralink's website indicates it is seeking participants with conditions like paralysis, blindness, deafness, or the inability to speak, but the company did not respond to the Guardian's request for further details. So again, if y'all brothers didn't see that video I made maybe three weeks to a month ago, where I was going over how when you look at the signs and the miracles of Yahweh and his disciples, given them, being that they were given the, the power of the Holy Spirit from the Most High Yahweh to allow people to you know build back their faith and see the miracles of what the Most High was doing. Again, them using the aspects of paralysis, blindness, and deafness or inability to speak for the average human being is a form of a miracle that can get them to believe in something 
that can make them feel very supernatural so i'm not going to read the entire article but i did think this article was interesting again if y'all want to read it y'all can go to the guardian it's titled elon musk brain implant Com company y'all can literally google this but it's going to be very interesting and i want to end the, the video on this scripture again revelation 13 and 16 he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that no man would be able to buy or sell unless he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that has understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 666 so lord willing this one's edifying again y'all brothers stay vigilant prepare for the days to come gird up you gird up uh, in faith and moving this thing in fullness and sincerity until next time it's the brother ash i signing out